Hey guys, I found these stones. Not really sure what I'm going to do with them. But it does remind me of our Bible story today, where one man took some stones and did some amazing things with God's help. So welcome to Kids Church Online, where we get to learn about God and how much he loves you and how you get to be a part of his story. Let's meet our friends. We interrupt this episode of Kids Church Online to bring you a special announcement. Families, if your children have not taken communion and you would like to learn more about this sacrament, join us for our family communion workshop. There's no age limit, so just come and learn together about the Lord's Supper. Parent training will be held on February 21st during the 9 a.m. service in the fallout. The family portion will be held on February 28th from 4 p.m. till 5 p.m. in Lakeview Hall. After the workshop, you will be able to discern your child's readiness to partake in communion. We'll be offering an opportunity for not only our individual families, but also our greater church family to come together for communion on Sunday, March 7th. We hope to see you there. Let's do our Bible basics together. God's word is true for all people, for all places, and for all time. The Bible has 66 books written by 40 authors over 1,500 years that fit together to tell one story about who God is and how much he loves you. Nice job, everybody. Hi, everybody. Check behind me. See what I see? There's a lot of hearts back there. So we're going to be singing a song today saying, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And there's four verses, so sing along, have a good time. And as we get to the part about being happy, stand up and dance a little bit. Let's have fun. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. Where? 
Down in the depths of my heart, I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Hey, Addison. Oh, hey, Aaron. What you doing? I'm playing this new game called Giant Slayer. It's where you get to customize your character and go through the story of David and Goliath, and then you get to defeat the giant at the very end. So you see my character. She's a shepherd and she's a slingshot. And look at that really super cool hat I gave her. Wow, that is really cool. Somehow she looks exactly like you. Huh. Well, mind if I play while I'm waiting for my cookies to be done baking? Of course you can, but I'm already partway through the story. So you'll have to play as King Saul for right now, but you can customize your character later. Cool, thanks. Did you hear something? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, I definitely heard something now. Yeah, I heard that too. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Whoa! Ugh. What's happening? No way! I'm in the game! Woo! <laughs> Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Can you hear my voice? Where, where am I? Goodness. Aaron, it's me, Addison. I think we got stuck in the Giant Slayer game. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get us out of here, but you need to stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. wait. If, if, if you look like you do, then, then I, 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 oh. Squirt, thanks so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, this can't be it. This can't be Couple things here. It's always good to stay sanitized. have to work together, we'll work together to slay the giant. To slay the gi 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 giants? Now there's giants? What are we gonna do? This is the end. I'm not gonna lose it. 
I'm not going to lose it, but we're all going to die. Oh, my mother always said, don't play with video games because you play with video games, you're going to take over your life. And now they've taken over my life because now I'm in a video game. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I forgot the cookies. I forgot the cookies. You know, the cookies that we had in the, in, in the place and there was the cookies. <laughs> Pull yourself together. This is not the end. We're going to get out of this. It's going to be okay. Now let's go. If that's the giant, I, I think we're going to be fine. Aaron, I don't think that's the giant. I give up. Who are you? What's going on here? I'm Emily, the narrator. Welcome to Giant Slayer. In this game, you will get to experience the story of David and Goliath. Okay, wait. Just, just hammer me for one second. <laughs> Could you just remind me what that story is again? I learned it in Sunday school, but I kind of forget. Could you just tell me a little bit more about the, the, the giant thing? It'd be great. Of course. It's my job to guide you through the game. So let's start at the beginning. A man named Saul had been chosen by the Lord to be the first king of Israel. While Saul was still king, God sent Samuel to anoint, that means choose, the next king of Israel. Remember when we talked about Hannah praying to God, asking him to give her a son? Well, God answered and gave her Samuel. Samuel grew up to be a special messenger from God called a prophet. God sent him to the family of a man named Jesse. When Samuel went to pick one of Jesse's sons to be the next king, he looked at their appearance, how big, how strong, and how handsome were they. God said no to all of the brothers except for the youngest, weakest, and smallest, David. God said to Samuel, do not pay attention to what he looks like. You look at what you can see on the outside, but I see the heart. When God looked at David, he saw a man with a heart that loved God. Whoa, whoa, where are we now? I think this is the Israelite camp. They were in a battle with the Philistines, and the Philistines had a secret weapon. Oh, so that's the giant? Yep, Goliath. You know, nine feet seems a little smaller in my head for some reason. Now, <laughs> girl, you have to stop doing that, okay? Ahem. As I was saying, God's people had some scary enemies, but the Philistines were the scariest of them all. And now the Philistines had come to fight them. Every morning and evening, Goliath would stand in front of the camp and say, Why are you all just standing there? Send out your best soldier to fight. If you win, we will all be your slaves. <laughs> but if we win, you will be our slaves. Dude, you're King Saul. You should totally go fight that guy, gigantic man. That guy? No, no, absolutely not. I'd break a nail, and I'm not breaking a nail. Oh, I don't have nails. But no, I'm not doing it. Absolutely not. No way. Goliath did this for 40 days, but no one spoke. No one moved. Chickens, your God can't save you. I'll rip off your head and have you on gluten-free toast. <laughs> well, Goliath might as well have been a giant purple monster with three heads and 12 eyes because God's people froze in fear. Now, David's brothers were in the army. One day, when David brought his brothers their lunch, he saw Goliath and said, Oh, that's me. <clears throat> Don't be afraid. I'll fight him for you. Okay, like, no offense, but um, you're kind of like a small little shepherd boy, and you're going up against a giant. Um, I'm not even sure what you're going to do. What are you going to even use? God will help me. Great, great. But how about you use my royal armor, okay? Here it is, I got it. Okay, more. Oh, how about this? Ugh. Have you felt that? It's 
so heavy, I wouldn't even be able to walk. So heavy. Fine. Fine. How about this? Are you done? Yes, here. Mm, I still don't like this. Still too heavy. I have a better idea. Stones? Stones. Are you kidding me? You're going to go against a gigantic nine foot tall ginormous man with stones. Yeah. Are you crazy? We need to get out of here. I am so tired of this body. I'm cold and frankly, I smell. Just go with it. <laughs> You! I may be small, but my God is great and he is with me. <laughs> well, this will be easy. One swipe of my sword and off with your head. <laughs> it's not about how strong you are or how many swords and spears you have that will save you. God will save you, and this is God's battle, and he always wins his battles. Emily, I'm here to guide you through today's review. Let's see what you learned about today's Bible story. Is today's story from the Old Testament or the New Testament? That's right, today's story is from the book of 1 Samuel, which is in the Old Testament. Here's your next question. Samuel chose one of Jesse's sons to be the next king. Which one of the sons did he choose? Did he choose the oldest son, the strongest son, the biggest son, or did he choose David? That's right! Samuel chose the youngest and smallest of Jesse's sons to be king. Samuel chose David. Okay, let's try another one. What did David have when he faced Goliath? Did he have a suit of armor? Did he have a big sword? Did he have a sling and stone? Or did he have an entire army? David faced the giant Goliath with just a sling and a stone. Last one, David was just an ordinary shepherd boy who saved the people from Goliath. Who gave David the courage and power to face the giant? God gave David the courage and the power to do what he needed to do. Thanks for showing me what you learned from today's Bible story. See you next time. It's another great day here at Kids Church Online, and it's time to introduce our new theme song for this month, and it's called Holy is the Lord. So I thought we'd take a look at the scriptures and see what it has to say about that. And I'm in Psalm 99, verse 9. And it says, exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. So what does holy mean? Well, I want to make sure I get it right. It says worthy of complete devotion, focusing all of our attention on him to the one who is perfect in goodness and righteousness. Well, then Isaiah 6.3 is what this song is based on. And it says, and they were calling to one another, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. So as we sing this morning, we are worshiping our holy God, just like our Bible tells us to. So let's sing.
we stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord is our strength we bow down and worship him now how great how awesome is he and together we sing everyone sing holy is the Lord God Almighty the earth is filled with his glory holy is the Lord God Almighty the earth is filled with his glory yes the earth is filled with his glory and it's rising up all around it's the anthem of the lord's renown it's rising up all around it's the anthem of the lord's renown and together we sing much cooler in person. Let's do it again. No, stop. No way. I have met my life's quota of being a middle-aged man. Uh-uh, I'm done. Okay, fine. But I will say, it was a really cool way to learn about God. I mean, isn't it cool how God saved his people using just a kid? God gave David the courage and the power to do what he needed to do. And God will give you the courage and the power to do things too. Just like what it says in our memory verse for this month. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Speaking of that, we should really practice that. Here's our memory verse for February. Be, be strong, strong and, and courageous. courageous. Do, do not, not be afraid. Do, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. And we've got some motions to help you guys learn it. So try these with me. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Ready to try it? Let's try it together. Okay. Be strong and, and courageous. Do, do not be afraid. afraid. Do, Do not, not be discouraged, discouraged for, for the, the Lord, Lord your God, God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Great job. God used David, an ordinary shepherd boy, to save his people from Goliath. And many years later, God would send us another young hero to fight for us, his son Jesus. Jesus, our rescuer, came to save us from our biggest enemies, sin and death. Just as David was Israel's hero against Goliath, Jesus is our hero against sin. Jesus saves us so that we can live with him forever in heaven. That reminds me of our key truth today. All things are possible when God is in control. Let's pray about that. Dear God, Dear God, How great and awesome you are. How great and awesome you are. You show us over and over. You show us over and over. That you will never leave us. That you will never leave us. You are always in control. You are always in control. And you always have a plan. And you always have a plan. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Thanks so much for joining us for Kids Church Online. See you next time. Goodbye.